Spurs are now seven points away from the top six. This is another must-win game. This is the match preview. Sheffield United v Tottenham Hotspur. Welcome back to another video. So, Tottenham's third game since Project Restart. Sheffield United away at Bramall Lane, 6pm kickoff, live on Sky Sports. I cannot wait for this. I'm really looking forward to it. And do I think that Tottenham will win? Of course we will. I'm going to go for a 2-1 Tottenham win. So let's start with the team news for Sheffield United and midfielder John Lundstrom is a doubt because of the shoulder injury that forced him off against Arsenal on Sunday in the FA Cup and defender Jack Connell is nearing a return after sitting out all four of their matches since Project Restart. Team news for Tottenham, Jose Mourinho is a very happy man. He has all of his key players back. The only absentees will be Jafat Tanganga and Wan Foyth, who are both injured and it looks like they will be out for the rest of the season. Three games have just finished in the Premier League and they have finished Arsenal 4, Norwich 0, Bournemouth 1, Newcastle 4, Everton 2, Leicester 1. What does that do for the Premier League? Well, Tottenham are now down to 8th, Arsenal nip in 7th place, um, a point above us now. But of course, we do have that game in hand against Sheffield United on Thursday. Um, Tottenham are seven points away from fifth and sixth place Manchester United and Wolves. Um, but the worrying thing for me is if Tottenham don't beat Sheffield United, we are then going to get into this mix of teams below us because Tottenham have 45 points and you go all the way down now to 13th place Newcastle United on 42 points. So from Arsenal in seventh Right down to Newcastle in 13th. Only four points separates all of those teams. So you've got Arsenal, Tottenham, Burnley, Sheffield United, Everton, Crystal Palace and Newcastle. So all Tottenham need to do is just keep winning to just try and get that European place for next season. Since Project Restart, Spurs are unbeaten. We've played two games. We drew 1-1 at home against Manchester United. And then, of course, last week we beat West Ham United 2-0 at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. So four points out of a possible six in the Premier League for Spurs so far. Um, Sheffield United, they have played four times since Project Restart, three times in the Premier League and once in the FA Cup. It would be very fair to say that Sheffield United's season in the 2019-2020 Premier League um, has been very, very good up to Project Restart because since Project Restart, they have not won a game. Their four results so far, Aston Villa nil, Sheffield United nil, and then followed by two 3-0 defeats away at Newcastle United and Manchester United. And then at the weekend, they lost at home to Arsenal in the FA Cup. In the Premier League, just one point separates Tottenham and Sheffield United. Tottenham are on 45 points. Sheffield United are on 44 points. Both teams are going for a European place. But if Tottenham want any chance of getting a Europa League or a Champions League place, this is a must-win game. Let's get into a few of the match facts and stats. There has been seven Premier League meetings between the sides since the Premier League was formed back in 1992. And weirdly, in those seven meetings, never ever as an away side won the game. Um, Sheffield United are unbeaten in their past five top flight home games against Spurs dating back to December 1975, winning three and drawing two. Tottenham haven't won at Bramall Lane now for 30 years. Incredible stat. Um, Paul Stewart and Paul Gascoigne were the Spurs goal scorers in our most recent victory. And that was in the fourth round of the League Cup back in November 1990. Seven games to go in the Premier League for Tottenham, sitting in eighth place at the moment on 45 points. Now, Tottenham are guaranteed to finish on fewer than 70 points for the first time since Maurizio Pochettino's debut season back in 2014-2015.
As I said earlier, Sheffield United are not in great form at all since Project Restart. And Sheffield United have lost three matches in a row in all competitions for only the second time since Chris Wilder's appointment back in 2016. Tottenham really do need to start winning away matches in the Premier League because after winning 11 of our opening 13 Premier League away matches last season, we have won just three of our last 21. Now, this is good news for Spurs because Sheffield United have not won any of their 10 league matches this season against teams who begun this round of fixtures above them in the table. Wouldn't it be great if Tottenham kept a clean sheet against Sheffield United on Thursday? Of course, we kept one last week. That was our fifth um, clean sheet in the Premier League so far in the 2019-2020 season. But Tottenham's only clean sheet in our last 22 league away matches was the 0-0 draw at Watford back on the 18th of January. Tottenham are unbeaten in 23 Premier League away games against newly promoted teams since losing to Queen's Park Rangers back in April 2012. What about this for a stat? The last time Tottenham played a competitive game in the month of July, Tottenham lost 8-0 and that was against Cologne in the 1995 Intertoto Cup. So let's get on to the predicted lineup for Tottenham ahead of this game against Sheffield United at Bramall Lane. I'm going to go for Hugo Lloris in goal. Obviously, he is our captain. Um, at left back, I'm going to go for Ben Davis. Um, right back, I'm going to go for Serge Aurier. And I think that Serge Aurier has been uh, very impressive, actually, um, since Jose Mourinho's appointment. I think that there has been a huge improvement. Please do let me know if you agree or disagree with me, but I think there's been a huge improvement. I know he gets a lot of flack. I've given him a lot of flack as well. Um, but, you know, give credit where credit is due, and I think that Aurier deserves a little bit of credit. Um, in the centre, I'm going to go for Eric Dyer and Davinson Sanchez, so I think it's going to be the same back four as last week. Um, in the centre of midfield, I'm going to go for... Musa Sissoko, what a, a fantastic player he has been since he has been back. Um, and Giovanni Lo Celso. I'm going to go for Deli Alley, um, Hunmin Son, Stephen Bergvine, and of course, Harry Kane. Now, please do let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Do you agree with that predicted lineup? Do you think that that is how Jose Mourinho will line up? Or do you think that Tangi Ondombele will come back into the starting lineup against Sheffield United? What are the bookies offering for the Sheffield United v Tottenham game? Well, I've got a Coral coupon here. Um, they are offering 5-1 to one for a 1-0 Tottenham win, 15-2 to two for a 2-0 Tottenham win, 8-1 to one for a 2-1, and 16-1 to one for a 3-0 Tottenham win. Um, you would get 15-2 to two on a 0-0 draw. Uh, you would get 11-2 to two on a 1-1 one, one, or a 16-1 to one on a 2-2. Two, two. For a Sheffield United win, you'd get 9-1 to one on 1-0, one, 20 to 1 on 2 0 and 14 to 1 on 2 1. If you fancied a combination bet and you went for a 2 0 Tottenham win and Harry Kane to get Tottenham's first goal, you would get 18 to 1. And an interesting fact Sheffield United is the only Premier League team that Harry Kane has not scored against who he has faced. He has played against 29 Premier League teams so far in his career and he has scored against 28 of them that team that he hasn't scored against yet is Sheffield United so watch this space hope you enjoyed today's video thanks for watching um, please do put all of your thoughts and comments in the comments section below your predicted lineup and your um, score prediction as well for the game now just before I go I'm just going to leave you with this quote from Jose Mourinho from the press conference today um, talking about Tottenham's push for um, European football for next season and talking about the Europa League um, and said it wouldn't be too bad. He said, if I put myself in day one and where the team was and everything that happened, I would say I wouldn't be disappointed in a Europa League place. Now, please do let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Tottenham in the Europa League next season, would you be happy? Enjoy the game and let's hope that Tottenham get the three points. Come on, you Spurs. 
So I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you like the shirt I have been wearing in today's video, you can order one of these shirts and many, many more from toffs.com. You can also get in touch with them by email. It is inquiries at toffs.com. All of the links are um, in the description box below this video. Um, they have an absolutely superb range of retro Tottenham shirts, so don't miss out.